Hi, welcome to Tuesday Technical Talk, episode number 44. And I'm so excited and good to see you guys. And back to our normal time is 9 o'clock in Mumbai, <coughs> in India. So let's hear it from where are you logging in from? Let's hear it from you guys, Mumbai. Thane. Come on, come on, come on, quickly. Bangalore, Bangalore, Pune, Bangalore, Chennai, Indore, Kane, come on, come on, quickly, quickly, okay, where is this Charlie's cow, Bivandi, Bangalore, Delhi, Chennai, <clears throat> Hyderabad, Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai, Pondicherry, Chennai, Bangalore, Chennai, Kulu Manali, or oh, Ranle. Oh, are you guys in Rale? I am in Raleigh right now. <coughs> mm. Co Kochi, New Delhi, George. Come on, come on, come on. Vadodara, Bangalore. All right. So excited. And I'm back to this. And I am uh, in US right now at Raleigh, North Carolina. And you can see a beautiful morning here. And right now at my brother's place here in Raleigh. <clears throat> so get started. Now, before I get started, I want to share something. And I, in the last few weeks, uh, we had some great uh, successes about students and our viewers and fans and followers on TTT and some of our online program community. So let me just uh, share a few things, which I'm, I'm going to do an interesting topic today, very important and very, very powerful. And it will be a detailed approach. So hang on till the end. And uh, yeah, so let me just share something right now. Uh, let's put it this way. Now. Uh, can you guys see my uh, report? Uh, so here, if you see, uh, I have this report called uh, Bajaj Auto. Now, this is one of the reports which I published for my students, one year trading students, and also the people who have bought power pattern programs. We promised them 10 reports like them. And one of them was this last two last week and uh, Bajaj Auto. So how I do analysis more than to show you whether it worked or not is the kind of analysis we do is called top down approach, top down approach, which means it's going to be from monthly chart, weekly and daily chart, where you get this look at the monthly chart, which is at 40 support on monthly trend line support, Fibonacci retracement cluster. So three things on monthly, which says it's a good support. Then we look at weekly chart which is an important level on support and resistance, the arrows are marked, as well as there is a divergence on RSI plus 40 support on weekly. And then we go to daily chart and then we look at di daily divergence and also look at daily outside inside Bollinger Band, which we covered in one of the Tuesday technical talk. And then we recommended a buy at 2400 and the first target was 27, 28, 29. And I think we hit the first target in just one week and still the trade is on. So this is uh, the kind of report which you get uh, as a part of Power Pattern program. If you have not yet subscribed, it's open right now for one or two days. So make sure you get it. And also, I'm just showing you how it works. So let me just share now one more uh, report which says this one. And this one is also the first report, in fact, which we sent is 
Britannia. And here the analysis is slightly different. It is monthly chart on six on 38% retracement at 60 support. And then we have okay, this is weekly chart. I don't know why it is tilted. Uh, it is at 40 support on weekly. And then daily chart, you have divergences and double bottoms and candlestick confirmation. And then we had a buy on this around 5,400, 50, and 58 was the first target which achieved. And still the trade is on 61, 63. So these are the two reports which we sent uh, in the last two weeks. And so many of you who had subscribed, who are one-year students as well as Power Pattern students have uh, benefited from this. Uh, at least if you have, we must have traded in cash or future, or, or even if it just the, the fact I, I, if you know me since last so many years into market, regularly appear on channels. In fact, this week I'm on Bullseye. Though although I'm in US, but I'm shooting through Skype. And uh, today also my stocks were going good. And so what I'm talking about is I never have started an advisory service, even though we have such a huge uh, fan following or students and all, because I don't believe in giving you the fish. I believe in giving you the fishing net. The way I've explained the report, if you just keep going through the report, it itself will teach you a lot of things about market where you can apply the same things in some other stocks or some other setups so that you don't you're not dependent. So I'm not I don't give you like buy Bajaj Auto stop loss target like this. That's it. That's not my style and never do that. I want you to teach so that you know why you are buying so that you can do it on your own as you go forward. So that's the. Uh, report which we are talking about. I, how many of you are having power patterns? Say I have power patterns. I have PP. Come on, chat. Put that in the comment section. I have PP. Yes. I have PP. Yes. Oh, so many of you. Come on, come on. Even one year students you have in your membership site. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging that. I have PP. I have PP. Yeah. Good. Great job. And so right now we have just created one more report. And it is ready to release in maybe by tomorrow or day after. And it's going to be one lot. You don't have PP, then get it. You want PP? Or you want to say, I want PP, then I'll give you the PP link right now. Just copy this link in your uh, in your browser right now. And then maybe you can buy the PP in just short time. You have PP is not PowerPoint. It is Power Patterns uh, online program. And you can uh, click on this link and you can get those another eight reports for you. One is ready. It's going to be released tomorrow or day after. And uh, it's extremely and I'm extremely bullish on that. At least 20, 15 to 20 percent move expected on that stock doing all the kinds of analysis we have done. So apart from that, a great learning also. So click this link right now and you want PP, then click on this link. Uh, copy this link and I'm going to now start with my main topic for today, which is uh, okay, because this PP is the highest selling product we have power patterns apart from other few online programs. So I want you to get it and we keep it for limited time and this eight report now 10 reports were there two are already given. So the later you buy that many reports you miss that many trades you missed you missed already Britannia and Bajaj Auto, although there are two more targets to be achieved. But once to one is achieved already. So get it sooner than later. So now let's get started with the main topic of today. And just copy this line in your browser, this link, and I will uh, go back to my screen now. And then I want to show you something. First, we are going to talk about today is going to be volume. Okay and volume a uh, detailed analysis of volume and this is why very so, so important in our trading and analysis so let's get started 
Okay. This is quite funny, actually. Mm. Okay. So let me just put this down. Uh, what is volume? So let's get started with volume right now. And yeah, so I'll go back to my screen. Now pay attention. Meanwhile, this is going to be an extremely important session. I hope you guys are sharing. I want you to share. We are just at 157 at regular time. So we need to be about 200. So click the share button right now and put this copy this link and share it in your WhatsApp group or wherever you are uh, having groups of stock market traders and uh, traders and investors. So copy share say I shared I shared I shared on on, on the chat box let you need to be alive need to have a lot of energy. <clears throat> Do you guys have energy? Those guys who are going to buy PP today will get the report maybe by tomorrow or day after. If you delay, you'll miss one more report and the trade is hot. It's my personal favorite right now. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, and I'm, I will hide this link right now. And so that I can teach you now. Great. So we have volume. Now, first thing about volume is what? I'm going to teach right from zero level basic, okay? If you have never ever understood volume, never traded stock market, still I'm going to teach you in a simple language. So, and it's going to be extensive. You know what, why am I doing this? Let me just tell you. Uh, I have this uh, a basic course on volume, a basic course on technical analysis. And uh, in that there are trend lines, trend channels, volume patterns, price patterns, Fibonacci, all that. So many students have subscribed out of which I have a volume video which has a sound problem uh, and I get this complaint that the sound is not good. So I thought I'll record again. Uh, my team told me that you need to record the video again. So I said that let's do it on Tuesday technical talk so I can teach them and I can put this video in my students membership site also for lifetime access. So that's like one effort and two things done. So that's the shortcut. And I believe in shortcuts. I know some of you might not or most of you might not. But there is always a shortcut to life in, in ethical, moral and legal shortcut to everything in life. If you want to, you'll get it, including making money in stock market, which is what we are doing, simplifying stuff, which is like a shortcut. OK, so let's get started. Volume number of shares traded every day or when you do weekly, it's a weekly volume or a monthly volume. So number of shares traded. Now, what do you mean by number of shares traded? So buying and selling happens every day. Now, the volumes on, if you see on Nifty, it goes into cross, uh, Nifty, Bank Nifty, some heavyweights like Reliance, Tata Motors, Tata Steel, State Bank of India, goes into lakhs and crores and some into thousands and some into hundreds. So the more the number of shares traded is that much more participation by people, that much more likely to have mass psychology on which the whole thing of technical analysis works. That means we need to trade stocks which are highly traded to use our technical tools because if the stock is not highly traded, that means it is it is driven by few people like what we call operators or promoters or uh, penny stocks or circuit stocks and all those which where we cannot apply technical analysis that much. It will work there also, but not that much. And we get stuck also because it is driven by two, three, five or 10, 20 people. But when you have a mass of people like a Reliance or a, a Tata Motors or a Tata Steel or a Nifty, a Bank Nifty, which is widely traded, the chances of manipulation is less and, and chances of working on technicals like us, what we use is more. So we need to follow liquid stocks, which are highly, highly traded stocks. That is one lesson number one for volume. So you need to trade highly. Lick, uh, I'll go fast on my typing, which is not that great. So spelling mistakes is allowed. Uh, highly uh, liquid stocks have to be traded. And then 
uh, this volume is is there are buyers and sellers basically that means uh, you have a bull army and a bear army so what is bull army bull army is basically uh, like the bulls who are buyers and sell are, sell is a uh, bears which is a bearish army so bulls will try to capture the higher territory and the bears will try to capture the lower territory now when you talk about war what's the main reason for war it's territory right it's to capture the other person's land or or region or area or kingdom what we call and who's going to win the war depending on who has the stronger army or a or a bigger army so same thing if we i want to capture a upper territory or higher territory like we want to capture higher territory in bajaj auto or or britannia that means we need to have a stronger bull army or a bigger bull army bigger means large number of people need to buy that stock so then only they can reach there and the second thing is once you reach there you need to retain that territory so one is to uh, one is to capture the territory and one is to retain the territory and for which we need to have constant high volume which is buyers right and the same thing for sellers constantly selling and and retain that territory so one is to capture and then retain the area right so that is uh, what we call number of shares traded highly liquid stocks trader captures capture and then retain that area now the second thing is that we have two two price data two data which comes from the market one is called the price where we have open high low close and one is the volume which is the number of shares traded rest everything what we use like rsi moving average or anything is just man made or derived by from the data but the volume and price is a raw price is a raw data raw which comes from the market now out of that price uh, sometimes can be hidden hidden means sometimes you see that the price is not going anywhere small small candles so we cannot take a call based on price but one thing about the other thing is volume which is so powerful that volume cannot be hidden so when it's very important for me to see volumes every single day especially when i want to trade uh, trade the stock on on a positional basis and that's what we do i'll show you a few examples so now are you clear on the basics of thing is number of shares traded you need to trade highly liquid stocks it need one is to capture the territory and one is to retain the area retain the territory and then price can be hidden volume cannot be hidden from the market so i hope you guys are learning something and we are still okay you are not able to see my handwriting okay let me just do something uh okay just i'm just what i wrote here i'm just going to repeat that is volumes are number of shares traded second <coughs> second is price can be hidden volume cannot be hidden third is uh, you need to capture the territory and third and and to retain the territory and you need to trade highly liquid stocks and we have hit 200 people on the on the mark so make sure you uh, keep sharing this video and now i'm going to go into charts so if you have not even seen my handwriting now don't worry about that because that's not very important what is important is what i'm going to share now now can you guys see my chart now just say yes i can now we have put a chart can you see the chart yes okay great so now let's get started uh, on volume now if you see this uh, price movement which we see here is very very slow and sideways can you see that sideways move and but if you notice very minutely see this part of the volume and what is this an uptrend means a, a rally and there is good good volume on that see this particular candle 
and see this volume. Now, remember one important, I can even say it's a million dollar kind of an advice or million dollar nugget you can say is since I'm in US, I'm using dollars. <laughs> yeah, uh, so let's say uh, a one crore uh, rupee idea in volume. So uh, the volume, the candle which we see here is a very small candle with huge volume. Now, what do you think it would be a buyer or a seller? Come on, comment. Are you guys active? Let me see if you're awake. The candle which I marked, there is a small candle and huge volume. What do you think? It's a buying volume or a selling volume? It doesn't matter which stock. Just look at the chart. Right now, you're not getting into which stock. You just need to understand the volume part. Okay, some of you say seller, some of you say buyer. So, no, both. There's no need to guess the stock right now. Just focus on on the learning right now. And, and this is not, by the way, this is an old chart of 2008. So, no point guessing the stock also. Okay, so some say some say buyer, some say seller, some say both. Uh, uh, so, let me just tell you what it is. Now, uh, a, a million dollar idea is that if you have high volumes like this, and if the price doesn't go down, which is what we call as the price damage. Now, what do you call a damage is this. This is a damage. Now, here there is a high volume and there is no damage in the price. That means it's a buying volume, means somebody bought it. Now, that means in this sideways market, if I just look at the price, now let's let me just remove the volume. It looks like a dead market, like I'm not interested. It's going sideways. But then suddenly I uh, I put this thing up and then I see, okay, these guys are buying. And then again, there's a buyer. So let's that means I'm interested. Now, some this big buying will happen with big players or the big fishes, and big fishes drive the market. We have to follow the big fishes, we are the small fishes. So if somebody is interested, I'm also interested. Now I keep tracking the stock. I try. I start getting into the market using our normal analysis, like using RSI. Uh, that's a 40 support and there's a divergence and all that stuff comes later. First, I need to see the price and volume. So now let's see what happens after a few days. And it goes sideways and I get frustrated because it's a week, it's a daily chart and it went sideways for 10 days. And another 10 days gone, Another five days gone. Now suddenly you see this huge volume. This is like uh, I can. Uh, I don't want to say this. Generally, I say in my programs, I can bet my house on this trade. Why? Because of this only volume. I don't need RSI. I don't need candlestick. I don't need anything. Just because there is a support, there is a huge volume, and then uh, you see this. Now you see the price is not moving. Price is hidden. And volume is not somebody is buying big time, so that means something is going to happen. And then slowly, slowly it starts building up and building up and building up. So it started at 140 something and it reached almost 300, 280, doubled in the period of one month. Can you see that? That's so powerful, March to April. Now, if you just know about volume, suddenly these volumes are looking small because we have higher volumes. Now, these people have bought in huge quantities. So they are not going to settle. They are not going to trade for this much money. So there is more potential coming up. So let's see how it goes. And so see, if you see, there's a dip here and there's a dip in the volume. That means the selling pressure is not so much. The buying pressure is great. So it's going to go further up and it does. And again, the volume increases on the buyer. That means I'm bullish. And then it goes up further. And now we are at 450. From 150 to 450 in a matter of three months, using just simple volume what we saw here, that kind of trading what we can do using volume analysis. Are you guys loving it? First say I love volumes in the comment section. And by the time uh, 
I hope you have shared. This is only 210. We need to set a new record of 300 plus. Come on, quickly. I love volumes. There's a lot more coming, so stay tuned. See, I love volume. Yes. <clears throat> I love your way of coaching. Thank you so much. There was a time when I was uh, I, I was trading in 1996, 1999, 2000, when I didn't have access to this softwares and this charts. And we used to trade only based on price and volume. So, and you need to know that. Suppose you have no software, no connection no internet and if i just know the price which is open high low close and if i know the volume compared to last three days then we can talk about uh then we can we can fix that thing okay okay so let's get started again uh, on the same thing now we are lo loving the volume uh and now let's see some more examples of volume now see the dip dip does not have that much volume as compared to what we had in the buy so it can keep going further up maybe now that's a retracement what we call and see the volumes have dipped on the rat dip decline and again the rally has volume see the decline and volume increasing and volume increasing so that's basically what i wanted to show you as one part of the trade now let me just go into another part of trading which is now see this rally is not having that kind of a great volume okay compared to what we saw earlier and it's making new highs now see this particular last leg of rally is having less volume what does it mean high volume uptrend high volume price going up uptrend strong Hi, price going up low volume uptrend weak that means this is not able to this they have captured it but they might not retain this territory because the volumes are low so let's see what happens next and this time the volumes are slightly higher on the seller see how the sharp the decline is because there is no strong buying here compared to what we saw here see the retracements here are 38 percent or here we have 50 percent but this is like a 61 percent retracement or more than 61 percent because of lower volume because there are not enough bull army to support this price and this is a huge learning if you can understand the whole thing what i just explained in this last 15 minutes and then again it goes up now the volumes are not there great that means it's not going to retain it might come down again and it does go sideways now volumes have picked up and now let me just show you a few other areas i'm going back to current market and see this mm -hmm. i'm going to show you a weekly chart now see this steady increase in volume which led to a big rally in the market you see that now let's go to some other stock like uh, a nifty okay and nifty can be dicey but look at this one now what i want to teach you one more concept is what we call as see there is a decline started here and it ended here but the volume which is the highest is on the last leg of this price which we call as exhaustion volume now now that's another concept that if you see a high volume very high volume after the trend is already there in place like a long strong trend that means it is over here and it's going to go up now and that is called exhaustion trend now that happens in both sides of the market let me just show you some exhaustion trend here in the last few weeks if you see 
there was huge volume in the last two weeks on nifty and that's why we were bullish and we also had the date if you if you haven't seen last three four tuesday technical talk go and check that where we explained about the time cycles and the october the anniversary dates and the candlestick patterns which all confirm that there's an exhaustion volume and we are going to have a rally which we already had from 10000 to 10700 in the last couple of weeks so that's about uh, one more thing about ex exhaustion volume so let me just talk about something what we see here now see something here what is this no price damage and high volume see this is called exhaustion volume on this candlestick pattern after a strong decline from here to here last we have a big volume that is called exhaustion volume and now suddenly we see this going up strong and nice at the same time if you see uh, at the top of this there is high volume selling high volume selling can you see this black that means the selling is with high volume that means there's more ground to be covered later same thing like what we saw in the bullish trend uh, just some time back on Tata Steel. Now, let's see something more uh, on this. And let me just show you something which I was tracking. Can you see this is huge volume, huge Tata Motors and on 9th of October. And since then, it is just going sideways. So this is called an exhaustion volume after a strong decline from almost 400 to 170. There is like a panic selling or what we call as the exhaustion selling, the selling climax. And that makes the bottom sealed. And now we need more confirmation so that we can buy this stock, right? Like that, we can have like uh, any stock we can talk about and we can look at what is that? Abdullah Nuo is there or we can look at say dlf now dlf we have what we can see here on the monthly chart uh not this one lands capital exhaustion volume see the rally here volumes here that we can go into weekly chart and then go and decipher that further and then we look at stocks like see this huge volume on the selling the exhaustion volume at the top of the market and then a reversal right so are we guys learning something exhaustion volume at the top of the market volumes with pattern okay so let's now go into stocks like say uh Dindal steel okay and one thing important about this is see this one this we were tracking here if you, i just go into a training mode and uh, you need to have a good software to do this Now you see this is going down, strong downtrend, okay? And now you have a bullish candle. And then few more weeks, it goes down further with low volume. And that's kind of a trap for people. And then it goes up. Some great volumes have happened in this few weeks. Can you see this? And price is hidden. That means something is cooking, somebody is buying or short covering or whatever you call it. So it's around what price? 66 rupees, 70 rupees? uh in 2016 and then we see some more sideways because that's a monthly chart and you get frustrated and then see some more volumes and it goes 100 that means somebody is buying big time big stock right and now then we suddenly see this spurt and it goes to 300 but it started at this price if you can understand the volume part of this you are going to or make a killing volume is a leading indicator volume cannot be hidden so there is one thing so let me just write down if you have pen and paper write down on your pen and paper that uptrend high volume strong uptrend low volume weak like guys writing uptrend high volume strong uptrend low volume weak downtrend high volume strong 
डाउन ट्रेंड लो वॉल्यूम वीक दिस आर द फोर कॉम्बिनेशन एंड यू आर नो अबाउट द एग्जॉशन वेरी हाई वॉल्यूम आफ्टर अ गुड ट्रेंड अप और डाउन इज एन एग्जॉशन वॉल्यूम ट्रेंड रिवर्सल इज पॉसिबल एंड ऑल्सो इज प्राइस हाई वॉल्यूम्स एंड नो प्राइस डैमेज मीन्स buying volume so these are the few things which you need to know about volume and then you can go it will add one more dimension to your analysis which will make it which will make it very strong you don't need rsi you don't need uh, uh, bollinger bands and candles uh, and other stuff if you know the price and volume currently now if you again just let me show you this one this is a good rally with good volumes can you see this and there is a this is a retracement and the retracement is with low volume that means we have one more leg coming now if this is the scenario what i'm seeing then i am ready to go into weekly chart and find out a buy or go into daily chart and find out a signal to buy so now this i'm not suggesting right now to buy jindal steel right away i uh, uh but i'm just showing you how we look at it now this definitely is a buy for us but we need confirmation but this is a strong sign what we are talking about now let's go and check one more thing last one uh for today is going to be this is a high volume weekly and then go to daily huge volume and then there is a breakout that means big bias now this is this an exhaustion volume because there is a resistance here possible at the same time so i'm very i'm not ready to buy this because there's an immediate resistance that's another learning never buy a stock into resistance because if i buy here i get stuck here but if it crosses here then i can i can look at this or maybe i can draw this trend line which could be a good signal so good volume breakout i need here so that i can take this trade kind of an exhaustion here see this at the top and then a good decline at the bottom now sometimes just one caution is apart from this exhaustion volume sometimes there is something called as block deal now those block deals will not be counted as any of those things which we just explained so you need to make sure that there is no block deal block deal is basically a good chunk of stocks changing hands from one company to another one broker to another one fund to another one fi to another so that may not be the right analysis we can say okay that's an exhaustion volume or that's a buying volume or something like that otherwise everything what we saw here is is good right so did you guys learn something what is the best thing you learned today today come on so this is the summary of what i explained so just make sure you write down thank you malik tarjun up trend high volume strong trend low low volume weak trend down trend high volume strong trend low volume weak trend <coughs> yes volume come on come on find the trend with volume analysis exhaustion volume volume analysis on high volume you can bet your house <laughs> don't do that okay disclaimer by the way volume analysis price action in relation to price exhaustion volume trends based on price great job trend change exhaustion okay exhaustion volume so i hope you learned a lot and this was uh, the thing the next report which i'm publishing in next couple of days has one of the major thing called exhaustion volume what i just taught you today that's why i'm so bullish on that but needs confirmation so i'll be releasing that in one or two days those who have got power patterns they will get it and i'm in us right now and next tuesday also i'll be mostly on time 9 o'clock uh next couple of weeks and very soon the book is going to release some of you already bought the book so if you haven't just check the website you can buy the book pro, and you can also buy a, a video on how to predict a major market crash five ways to predict a market crash the videos are available just click on the website and see buy the book on cash tags so let me just show you last time this power pattern link which is there and it's already copied there on on your timeline 
and we have if downtrend high volume is is it strong downtrend yes downtrend high volumes thank you so much your queries uh, what you are posting is going to be answered by the technical team this is not the forum to maybe raise your doubts or questions and uh, volume big thanks okay great Okay, can you? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and I have given the power pattern link in the start of the session. Make sure you use that, get the report soon, and get started trading next Tuesday, next, uh, next talk or next topic, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much.